a generator shaft of hollow cross section with outside diameter 200 mm and inside diameter 100 mm is subjected simultaneously to torque and an axial compressive load. The maximum shear stress in the shaft is since the shaft is subjected to twisting moment and axial load, the cross section of the shaft is subjected to combined stresses. Then the maximum shear stress should be calculated by you have to go for the absolute tau max. First, I will draw the state of stress here. A hollow circular cross section shaft is given. The inner diameter is given as One sixty. The outside diameter is given as two hundred mm. And it is subjected to an axial compressive load. And it is subjected to a torque. Of. Now, for the given loading condition, the critical cross section is the every cross section a criti critical cross section because everywhere the axial load as well as the torque is going to be constant. Yield is a rectangle and the axial loading diagram is a rectangle as well as torque diagram is going to be a rectangle. Therefore, every cross section is going to be a critical cross section and the critical point on the cross section will be the any point on the surface is going to any point on the periphery the critical point because torsional shear stress maximum on the periphery axial stress is going to be at every point is same. So, any point on the what now overall surface is going to be what now critical point if you talk about a cross section any point on the periphery of the cross section is going to be a critical point. If you can consider this is going to be a critical point it is a point on the what now periphery. If I can draw the state of stress Here this is a critical state of stress in the critical point. Now the point is subjected to biaxial combined state of stress and such that what the sigma y is going to be 0. 
whenever the point is subject to biaxial state of stress in such a way that the normal stress in one of the direction is equal to 0, the principal stress are unlike in nature and in plane tomax and absolute tomax and both are equal. So, since the question is asked to find out the maximum shear stress, so you should go for what no, absolute tomax, but in this case in plane and absolute tomax both are going to be equal. Sigma x is equal to minus sigma a, which is given by p by a four p by four p by pi d square into one minus k square d the outer diameter, k the diameter ratio. It is the ratio of inner diameter to outer diameter sigma y is 0 tau x y is equal to t by z p that is 16 t by pi d cube 1 minus k to the power of 4. So, for the given case the k will be that is the ratio of diameter ratio small d to capital D, inner diameter is given as 160, outer diameter is given as 200 mm, so the diameter ratio will be 0 0.8 Now, you have to substitute the given values, axial load is given, three sixty kilo newton, three sixty two kilo newtons. I am substituting in all in newton per mm square. Diameter is given, outer diameter is two hundred mm. and k value is 0 0.8. So, I can simplify this one you are getting minus 32 mega Pascals and the tau x y is nothing but the maximum torsional shear stress. And if you can substitute the given data, the torque has given us 11.1 .1 kilo Newton meters. I am converting to Newton mm. So, this value will get it as 11.96 mega Pascals. Whenever the sigma y is going to be 0, absolute maximum shear stress is equal to in plane tau max it is given by radius of the Mohr circle. So, this is the expression for the radius of Mohr circle. So, by substituting the given data, we will get it as absolute tau max is equal to 19.976 mega Pascals. So, the maximum shear stress induced in the shaft will be 19.976. Whenever it is asked to find out the maximum stress in a member should go for the word the maximum shear stress in a member, you should consider the absolute tau max. But whenever in a biaxial state of stress, when normal stress in one of the direction is equal to 0, the principal stress will be unlike in nature. Hence, absolute tau max equal to in plane tau max and the in plane tau max is given by the radius of the Mohr circle. That is the point should be noted for the question. So, for the given question, the answer will be 19.976 mega Pascals.